run errands with us. While living in Mexico. So I have a few things that I need to do today, but I was kind of thinking that I have two months to figure out what I learned from Mexico. That makes me so happy. There's a joy I feel here that is like no other. So as I show you my life these last two months here in Mexico, I also want to take a deep dive into what makes the Mexican people so freaking amazing and what I love about living here. If you're new to me, hi, my name is Karen and my daughters and I have been traveling full time for the past six years and using Mexico as our home base for the past three. And in exactly two months, we're changing home base to the United States. Recently, there has been some issues with extranjeros. Maybe you've seen it in the news. In Matlazan and in Puerto Vallarta, they're having problems with foreigners complaining about noise. And not any noise, not like cars or sirens or things that you would get in big cities. But wait for it, Mexican music in Mexico. I don't know if that sounds as crazy to you as it does to me, but I think it's crazy when people come from other countries, even if it's to retire, and then complain about the country. Especially cultural elements that make it unique. So in Matlazan, the complaint is from tourists that visit the hotels. So the hotels are requesting the government to outlaw any bands playing on the beach, which is tradition there. I've never been to that beach, but apparently bands are what keeps it lively, what makes it unique, what people go to that specific beach for. Part of the culture. In Puerto Vallarta, there's a restaurant family owned that has been there since 1989 and passed down from generation to generation. Some extranjeros that decided to that decided to retire in Puerto Vallarta are now suing the restaurant and asking them not to make any noise because they have mariachis and things like that. Claiming it disrupts their peace. Now a few of the expats that I follow on social media actually went out there to support because the restaurant had a huge party in protest because that's the way they protest here with music, love and celebration the way they do everything with heart. I think I'm walking to slow for a taste. Let me show you some of the protests. Aquí que se sienta la unión, como siempre, los mexicanos en las mejores causas, miren. La música representativa de Jalisco, los mariachis. And if you want to support the restaurant, I'll put all the links below so you're in direct contact with the chef. He has a petition going around because the hotel's already lost the battle against the bands on the beach. So I guess they're here to stay. Our first place that we're gonna stop at is the ferreteria, cause the toilet broke again and we need a piece. Um, luckily they always know what I need, so I just kind of vaguely explained. So if you follow me, you know that our plumbing is always breaking for some reason. So I needed a tube. And my daughter always comes with me so she can get beauty supplies. <laughs> so she gets some nail things. Now we're gonna go to the pharmacy. See if they have my medication. It's been a long time, so I'm guessing they're not all out. Last time I checked, most of the pharmacies were out. 
necesito de esto, por favor. De 50. De 50. They had it. All right, next is electricity. You pay like in an ATM thing. Last, we're gonna go to cable, but I think we're gonna eat first. Also, so I can explain myself a little farther. I have to say that personally, I don't consider Mexican culture to be loud. Like the way they carry themselves and the way they speak to people is very low volume, very humble, very delicate and very understanding of the other person's space. <laughs> But they're also very celebratory people. They're very proud of their culture and customs. And both of those things are very oriented with celebrations, with music, with dancing, and um, eat parades and things like that in which they bring a band along. So all those things are mixed together and makes Mexico what it is it makes it come alive and uh, here we're listening to the most popular instrument here in chiapas so obviously i understand the point of peace like while the song is playing i couldn't really talk to my daughter too much but the point is that they have such pride in their music that i feel like is one of the things that makes it so special here I was always brought up to be quiet as a kid and like even though we're from a loud culture I feel like once we moved to the United States like things changed I moved to the United States when I was 10 years old so I had to be quiet I had to not be obvious I had to not be loud and I feel like here you're allowed to be all those things parties in the US were very different than Venezuela there was barely any dancing or music or things like that to me, it kind of gives me a sense of freedom that I didn't have before. I'm not that I'm any louder at home than I would in any other place, but just the fact that they accept each other for being happy and alive and celebratory. Like, that's really magical. I've never heard of a neighbor complaining about music with the other one. And in our neighborhood, we have periods of time that there is a lot of music, but Everybody respects each other and embraces that about each other. This doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I'm sure there's people that complain. Thank you, Lexi, for my thing today. I kind of chugged it because I was so thirsty. Was it wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. But the truth is that in general, people embrace celebrations Gracias. and the noise that comes along with it. And I personally love it. I do. And I have adapted to it by getting a fan from my bedroom and a dehumidifier. That way it's not too loud in my room. It works out perfect. And the house here are made of concrete. So no problem. You really can't hear that much. And you do get used to it. And whenever I can, if I feel okay. I'd rather join the celebration. I love it when parades go by my doorstep. It's kind of like such a pleasant surprise. So when we first got here and we were staying in Medida, we were staying like in an apartment that was above another and then it had a pool. And this group of like college kids that were there like only for the weekend were making a lot of noise and had their music loud and we're just having a good time. Now being new to Mexico, I just thought that they didn't know we were staying there too. So I went downstairs and I'm like, did you know that I'm staying here? And they're like, no, why? Like, oh, because your music is kind of loud. And they're like, well, that's your opinion. The way he answered to me was super puzzling, but it totally made me think. Because you cannot take for granted your initial reaction to things, I think. 
Yeah, I don't think it was anything I had ever thought about. I just assumed that they didn't know we were there and that's why they were being loud or celebratory in that case as well. I ended up paying two ones so I don't have to come back next month because then we're gone. Okay, so we're about to catch a cat, but the point is that that moment helped me understand that my habit of expecting things to be quiet, it's a very American one or very from the United States. And even though it wasn't something I got used to right away, I, I don't think the noise bothers me anymore. I think just a change in perspective of knowing that it's okay for people to have fun in their own way. It made me a little bit more tolerant. And now it's something that I completely appreciate about being in Mexico. I feel a sense of freedom from it and therefore I respect other people's freedom to celebrate and be. And now it's one of those things that I definitely want to bring back with me. Thanks for watching. Love you and bye.